Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to double back to my Dr. Emoto rice water experiment video. And uh, once again, my name is Brent Brown. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had a lot of people on there, essentially, first off, this is seven years ago as well. Uh, you know, we all grow a little wiser as we get older and the things you're interested in, you learn more about. And I still get comments on like, oh, that sounds like hogwash to me, or, or it doesn't have lids on it, so how can you... It's like true, if you have three things of rice water, and you tell one I love you, one you ignore, and one I hate, and you don't put a lid on it or anything, maybe you accidentally spit a little bit. Maybe you perspirated at one a little more, you know. Maybe... I, I had the, the sun balance, like, evenly on them. But still, yeah, if you don't have lids on it, it's not a proper experiment. However, people don't have lids on them. As we're walking through the day, and the importance of this is the metaphor for how you think about the world around you is, is how you're going to affect it, at least on some level. And some of the science that's out on this is largely on heartmath.org. I'm going to put links to a couple very good reads that I found, uh, but there's another there's another thing that's very interesting is that the heart has a magnetism that can surround the body six feet outside of the body and uh, also what is the term called magneto reception <laughs> humans ability to sense magnetism so like a polarity shift uh, that was induced in a lab setting was sensed in people but but subconsciously so like there was another reading that the person was getting so it's like when when people feel polarities changing or the earth's what magnetism changing we feel that in us so it's just kind of cool that if our hearts are magnetic and if we feel love that something could be generated through that and uh this is another thing people were holding hands right essentially uh, a person was thinking a thought the other person had a very uh chill brainwave nothing was registering and when they held hands with subject A and subject B held hands they both actually had a transference of the same energy on the heartbeat so um, like if you if you were to tell someone back in the day I'm gonna have this this tablet and I'm gonna be able to send a, a image of me speaking across the planet and it's going to come up in like HD instantly, they wouldn't believe you. And so this is just like another one of those things where ancient mystics and sages have said, you know, you can affect the world and, and you can, the power of thought. Everybody's always believed that. And for some reason, uh, an empowering thought, it's just very good to have empowering thoughts like that, that like my thoughts can control the world and if I think beautiful thoughts, I'll have a beautiful world. And I think that if you have the option to believe that and you can't 100% disprove it or prove it, like you ought to pick the thought that's more powerful and more beneficial to you. But uh, ancients and mystics will just keep getting proven true as science gets advanced enough to do so. But I think that we all just kind of feel it in large, like things that end up being true are usually already suspected to be true. So that's my, my thought. Furthermore, on the rice water experiment, I do think it works. And I think it works with people, and I think it works with yourself too, big time. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, try it for yourself. See if it works. I don't know. It might not for you. Who knows? But peace out.